Hello, welcome to the JavaScript tutorial. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. In this session, we will be talking more about variables. Any application would be dealing with data, and data items would be of different types, like text, numbers, and so on. For example, here, JavaScript training is a text. Data is stored in variables and a variable could be imagined as a box in memory of the computer. In this example topic is a variable and we have placed a value text value JavaScript training in this variable. You can imagine this being a box with labeled topic and when you open this box you see JavaScript training inside that box. In JavaScript VAR var keyword is a special keyword that means you are declaring a variable. So var space topic meaning you are declaring a variable. You are creating a box in the memory called topic and this box will be holding some value. So the declaration of a variable and assignment of a value to a variable could be done in one go like here we are declaring a variable and initializing it initializing a variable meaning you're putting a value first time in that variable or you can do that in two different lines for example in the first line all you do is you declare a variable called topic and in the second line you are assigning a value in this variable topic and obviously in the second line I don't have to put in the keyword var because this variable is already declared so there would be times when you will be required uh, to do this in two different steps but for most part unless there is a need to do that you are going to declare a variable and initialize it in one line there are some rules when it comes to naming a variable it must begin with a letter or an underscore or a dollar sign okay S m convention is to use the letters you would be rarely using underscore or, or dollar sign and also keep in mind that in JavaScript variable names are case sensitive so the topic is not the same as this title case topic or in uppercase topic okay so all these three topics are different there is also an unwritten rule called camel casing very popular among JavaScript programmers and also very popular in other languages for example if you want to use two words in a variable like my topic so the my first word would be in lowercase and the second one would be in title case so T would be in uppercase and rest of the letters in the second uh, word would be in lowercase so you can see a camel hump here so my topic and if the variable name is my favorite topic then the first word would be totally in the lowercase the first letter of the second word would be in uppercase and the first letter of the third word would be in uppercase too so this is called camel casing which is very commonly followed standard unwritten standard among programmers so this is a text value we are placing in a variable called my topic in the alert line I must change this to my topic as well because alert is a function and we are passing a value called argument to this function whatever we pass whatever variable we pass to this function this function will display its value on the screen okay so this is an example of a text value and let's create another variable we can call it my ID and we can place let's say 100 a numeric value in this variable and here we can call another alert and this alert will display my ID on the screen so save the work control s will do the job I must do the correction here I should pass the correct variable name to the function alert my ID okay because ID is not a variable defined here so save the work and let's go to the browser so here's the browser and let me go to my page.html so 
So first I see message JavaScript training. I click OK. Then I see another message displaying my ID on the screen. I click OK and then I'll be back uh, to the normal mode and I can see my text of the uh, main web page. So you can see the first message was coming from the first alert and the second message was coming from the second alert. First alert displaying the value in my topic variable, a text value, and the second alert displaying numeric value in the variable called my ID.